Hello. Yesterday I did a whole bunch of development in terms of buying new asset packs and building wire and pipe uh, infrastructure, and then Unity crashed. And even though I'd saved them as prefabs, there's a Unity bug where if you save it as a prefab, but the scene isn't saved and Unity crashes, it corrupts the prefabs. So I lost them. I decided to come back from that by building a much, much better uh, version. So this is just my power wires, okay? So here is one standing alone. And you can see that it blinks to say, oh, I'm all lonely. So here is what happens when you connect them. And then when you connect them, and connect them, and connect them. Pretty cool, huh? Now there's no place to connect them to, so I'm afraid they're going to remain with those orange rings um, until I actually build a, a way for them to query whether or not they're connected to a uh, um, a power supply which at the moment they aren't. But this is a this is the sort of thing where it just adaptively creates these connections. And I think they look pretty decent, but where it really comes in handy is when you want to connect them to something. Like, say, this machine shop, which probably requires power. So let's go ahead and put it over here. And you can see that it creates its own little curly Q connection to the machine shop. <laughs> we put it here and get connected from all sides. So I'm going to do something similar for all of the kinds of infrastructure. And as you might be able to tell, the way that the infrastructure works in this game is since these are the same class of object as, uh, let's just say, um, these are the same class of object as these, they can't overlap, which means that you've got to have uh, a line of these things. And if you break the line, then you break the connectivity. And that'll make building bases a lot more interesting. There'll be some that aren't quite like that, like an air conditioner, for example, wouldn't work in quite that way. But you get the basic idea.